Since 1982, Kai has grown to become the flagship conference and one of the premier publishing venues for ACN SIGKAI. This work looks back over the last 20 years of Kai and estimates how travel has contributed to the overall carbon footprint of the conference. As the profile of environmental concerns continues to rise, so have Kai's carbon emissions from conference travel. What I'm saying is the planet's on fire. In 2019, Kai introduced a sustainability role and set a goal to make Kai more sustainable. You heard the good news, everyone. Save the Earth, etc., etc. Bye. In 2020, Kai is in Hawaii. Aloha! And it is set to make record breaking CO2 emissions. In the short term, this work proposes optimizing the location of Kai to minimize travel and CO2 emissions. Going forward, physical attendance may become less important. For example, previously we have trial, remote presence and video on demand. The Kai community is uniquely well suited to pioneer and improve on these and future technologies. The purpose of this work is not to guilt trip or moralize. Do you think I'm a hypocrite? Well, you should. To be explicit, the message is not, don't travel. What? Grub! Stay in the cave. Rather, we must ask ourselves, both as individuals and as a community, when, where and why we travel. If we are comfortable with the trade-off, convinced the social good outweighs the potential harm, then we might feel comfortable continuing as we are, pursuing our gradual moves towards improving sustainability. If not, together we should consider whether current growth and practices are sustainable and ethical, and how we can apply our own experience and expertise to the challenges that changing research communications would entail. Change is coming whether you like it or not.